So you want to know how we hooked up a PlayStation and a flat screen in a truck that does not come with power inverters hooked up to the batteries? Oh, you do, do ya? Well, here we go! Oh man, don't mind me. Please don't mind me. My voice is completely and utterly jacked up, okay? And the reason why is uh, my kids were sick, and I think that I'm starting to get their bug. And uh, yeah, that sucks. But uh, we're not here to talk about that right now. We're not here to talk about why I sound like an old Jewish lady. Uh, we're here to talk to you today about installing PlayStation 4 and a flat screen TV in a truck that doesn't come with an APU or a power inverter hooked up to the battery pack. So we had to resort to uh, the little cigarette lighter ones. Now I'm gonna show you up top first, okay? Now, turn this camera around here, hold on now. Here we go, turning the camera around. All right, check it out. PlayStation 4, focus, focus. PlayStation 4 with the PlayStation uh, headset hooked up over here on the power strip. Now, the TV is installed just like I had it installed in my truck at Prime and in uh, the truck I had at Raven. We've got a, uh, a little piece of uh, sheet metal with two washers, nuts and bolts. Okay, let me move the TV out of the way. Going to, on this side, we put two small little holes. I know it ain't straight, but it's close. I, I kind of got silly with the drill. So two drill, two, drill, yeah. drill two little holes. Push the bolts through, through the metal with the washers, tighten it down. And now you have a TV on a swivel mount. So when you want to turn it like this. You can tuck it away real thin for when you want to open the bunk up all the way. And then when you're not opening the bunk and you're watching it, you open it up like that. So you can sit in your bunk and you can watch TV. Now, this TV is a 24-inch 1080p. The other one that I had was a 32-inch. So we, uh, we downgraded in size a little bit, which is okay. No big deal, right? It's getting the job done. Now, the part that you've all been waiting for. How the hell did we power it? Let me move this thing out of the way here. How did we power it? Now, oh, Jesus, my goodness. Oh, hold on, I gotta move the thing out of the way here. So I can open the bunk and show you. All right, once again, bring the light over here. So we got the PlayStation hooked up to its own power source. Now this is a mess still. I still have to tidy up these wires a little bit. The brown cord you see right there is an extension cord with a multi, uh, multi strip, not a strip, but a freaking multi outlet on the back right here. Okay, and the PlayStation's hooked into that. All right. this out a little bit try to get it I'm gonna have to put a little fan back here because it's getting hot already but anyway uh oh yeah okay so the PlayStation took to the brown one please don't mind me I'm all jacked up here now the power strip the power strip here has the TV and the little USB thing to charge my uh, my my Bluetooth headset for the PlayStation my gaming headset the TV and the headset only so on one circuit we've got the PlayStation hooked up and then on the other one we've got the TV and the uh, 
and the and the freaking headset. Now I'm gonna lift up the bunk, show you what we got going on down there. I'm trying to do this with the phone in my hand. It's not working out too well. Hold on. Cheese Louise over here. Alright. Oh yeah. Alright, check it out. The light down here. So get the power strip wire and the brown wire coming down. Like I said, I'm not done cleaning this up yet. Down, down, down. They go up in here. There's a little hole right here. Okay. They come in and they go into these two 300 watt power inverters. Alright. Now, on PlayStations, Xboxes, stuff like that, sometimes they want what's called clean power. Okay. Now, I haven't had a problem with these power drives that you get from the pilot. They work pretty good. They work pretty good, okay, for power in a PlayStation and stuff. Now, I've got one, I've got two of them. So I've got the PlayStation hooked into that one, and the TV hooked into this one. I ran a cigarette lighter plug down over here. Almost every single Cascadia has this right here. You'll notice here, if the phone would focus, it says 12 volt, 20 amp. The top one says 12 volt, 10 amp. Okay, now I've got the 20 amp one hooked up for the PlayStation because it's a little more power than the TV. But the TV is hooked up to the 10 amp one. All right. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's nothing else to it, guys. Too little power. Because I don't think... I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet, but... Oh, and then over here I've got... Hold on. Check this out. Let me shut this real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, oh here we go. Okay. Um, show you what else we got going on. Over here, I've got a 750-watt plugged in to there for my laptop charging batteries and whatnot for the cameras now the funny part about these power inverters and playstations is the 750 watt one ran my power uh, my playstation in my old truck for some reason the 750 will not run the playstation hooked up in this truck i don't know why but that's the way it is so I swapped it out because I used to have the 300 watt one plugged up under there. And uh, it's really weird. It's really weird. Uh, so you're going to have to do a little finicking with your power inverters. But they're not that expensive, those little ones. The little ones are like 40 bucks a piece. The little 300 watt ones, you know. And uh, the uh, PlayStation 4 only on full tilt I think it's only kicking out about maybe 270 watts I think that's during gameplay and whatnot and um, I don't use uh, the PlayStation for um, gaming online only because it eats up so much data um, if I was gaming online I don't know if it would eat up more power as well as far as uh, you know those little fuses down there popping and getting hot or whatever but um, they're doing good right now. It's hot, hot in this truck. I can tell you that. But they're doing really well. And uh, sorry about that. Um, so you got the 20 amp cigarette lighter and the 10 amp cigarette lighter. Use the 20 amp cigarette lighter for the uh, PlayStation, so that way you get a little more clean power. Uh, and like I said, it's really weird. I had, I had that 750 hooked up down there first and, the, and and it didn't work on the PlayStation it would start up and then stop um, but it's weird because it used to work in my old truck so it's weird it's electronics are weird guys um, especially in vehicles so you're gonna have to uh, you know do a little uh, troubleshooting man look at this weather 
Unbelievable. It's coming down here in Columbus, Ohio at the terminal. But uh, that's how I did it. That's how I did it. I'm going to go and... Oh. I'm going to go play. You know, and then we're going to go pick up this load in a little while. So... Comments below if you have any specific questions. Hit me up on the Facebook page, please, if you haven't done it already. Jeez, the links are in the description box below. Do it now. Mm.